back to my YouTube channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. Today, as you can tell from the title, I am unboxing my Goyard Canvas Tote. I was in New York earlier this month and I thought to treat myself to a few things that I've been absolutely just like really wanting. I also need a new tote. I was using the Monsoor, um Gabrielle, Gabrielle, I'm not really sure how you say it, but I was using the Monsoor tote the vegan leather tote, and honestly, the outside started to get really scratched. I've had it for like three or four years. Um, it was secondhand, so I think that's also part of the reasons why it didn't last as long. Um, those bags retail for about $5.95, and you can get them at Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom's, or you can go on the Monsoor site. I definitely recommend it, but I wanted to upgrade to a more luxurious bag for a more luxurious vibe in my life, you know what I mean? So um, I'm gonna be doing the unboxing. It's going to be a really quick video, but I actually packed it in my suitcase and the bag that they gave me in got ripped, sadly. Um, the mousse that I use for my braids to keep them from getting frizzy messed it up and then also just regular handling. But this is the bag that they give it to you in the tote. It's very flat, very thin. It's not that wide um, and you'll see why. They, the, it's a very nice bag though. Very nice bag, leather handles, and they also wrapped the side of it with a little bow. Um, and then they put a little Goyard sticker. It says Goyard 233 Rue Saint Honoré Paris. Um, the green, I love this forest green color. It's just very nice, very great. The experience shopping in the store, obviously when you go on um, Goyard's website, you can't purchase these bags on their website. You have to email them for assistance. Um, and I did so a year ago when I was trying to figure out the pricing of the bags. All the black bags, when you buy them, they're cheaper than the colored ones. So if I were to get this color of the canvas tote, it would have been around 1800-ish. But this uh, with tax included was like 1,600 and something. But yeah, so let's just get right into it. They wrap it in this tissue. Again, they put two Goyard stickers on there. Um, I liked going into the store in, I think it was on, it was in Manhattan near Central Park, but I liked going into the store because I feel like the experience of buying something luxurious, you should go in there and get to know some of the sales associates in case you want to keep purchasing things. Comes with a little receipt card, of course. We have the Goyard emblem right there. And, oh, I can tell you the actual price. So it was $1,600. $27.68. If I would have bought it in LA, um, they would have charged me like 10% tax rather than 8%. So even though it's fairly similar, yeah. Okay, now for the actual unboxing. So let's just, I don't want to mess with the tissue, but I guess I'm going to throw it away anyway. Okay, so under the tissue, they give you your dust bag, of course. It's quite large, and the bag is actually already in the dust bag, but um, it's really nice. Very thick. And of course, inside, it is so beautiful. And I honestly love that it has like little hints of browns because that's my vibe natural, you know. But I got the black large canvas tote. Um, you can see on the outside, it has the Goyard tag on it as well. Um, I'll get a little closer so you can see. And then. And of course, it comes with this little cute coin purse or whatever they use this for. And they put a little felt on the outside. That's that's cute. And then of course, you have your authentication card inside as well. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a it's a very large bag, honestly. It's a it's the perfect tote I feel for work. It's the perfect tote for a lot of things. I just really wanted a new tote bag and I didn't want the Louis Vuitton Jet Setter for one. I feel like too many people have that bag. For two, oop, I just moved my camera. And we're back. For two, I feel like, I don't really know how I feel about the 
quality of that bag. I'm not like, I'm not in love with it. But I know a lot of people love that bag and they love it. It's just not my personal preference, which is why I ended up going with, originally I had the Monsoor and then now I've, I've moved on to um, Goyard. But for me right now, just off of buying experience, price, and all of that, I personally think that it's worth the purchase, especially if you want to elevate into the new bag. I think I'm gonna do a review of all my luxurious bags so you guys can kind of see how long I've had it, how it's held up, what I really feel about it. Um, that includes my Gucci Dionysus, my YSL camera bag. I don't have that many designer bags, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you leave some comments down below. And like I said before, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. All right, until my next video, guys, bye.